From time to time, I browse the market for new gaming accessories to enhance my experience in FPS games such as Valorant and CSGO. It wasn't recently until I started an ITX build as my new gaming build that I accidentally got thermal paste on my Fnatic Dash mousepad. So now was the time to look for a new mousepad. The first pad I started looking at were artisan pads, as a lot of hype has already been built around it for its known quality. However, any purchase would be shipped from overseas, and I wasn't sure what pad would best fit my needs. I was meaning a hybrid pad with the Fnatic Dash, but I wanted to give a control pad a try. After numerous videos from YouTubers who reviewed the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn, I became really sold on getting my hands on one. The quality was comparable to Artisan, as what many reviewers have mentioned, but my first pad didn't reflect that same result. After receiving my first pad, I inspected the stitching and noticed raised stitching on almost all sides. Another issue is that some stitching seemed raised higher than others. Taking a look at the back, there were these little tiny raised bumps on the stitching as well. If I ran my finger along the side of the back, I'm greeted with these little bumps. I was expecting the same smoothness from the front. Now, let's talk about the worst issue of them all. The cloth on the top of the pad is slanted. If I set the pad as straight as possible, the cloth is actually stretched in an off angle. This caused smoothness along the X and Y axis of the pad to be inconsistent and even abrasive on my wrist. I've also had this pad for over a week and some of the sides I've still not flattened out. I was really bummed out by the issues I was having with my first pad, but I wasn't sure if this was actually a bad pad or quality issues. So I ordered a second one. After the second pad came in, I immediately noticed a difference. The color on the pad had a more deeper black and the stitching on the cloth was straight. As I laid out the new pad, the sides were laid flat. Some sides were still a little bit raised, but I only had the pad for uh, less than a week. But most sides were flat right away as I was expecting. Stitching was good with no issues on the back or the front. Now came the glide test, and it checked all of the boxes I was looking for. I was in heaven at this point. Okay, conclusion time. I would still consider the Saturn a good investment, but they surely need to improve on their quality control process. First impression is a key to establishing brand loyalty, and although I appreciate them for coming out with a budget artisan pad, if it's not the same quality as advertised online, it just becomes an ordinary pad at the least with major flaws. So far, I'm still getting adjusted to the pad, but I definitely feel like my aim has gotten more consistent. With the more hours I put into the pad, the more I love it. I've recently rose up to Diamond 3 in Valorant while solo ranking, previously being hard stuck plat, and although I'm not completely contributing it all to the pad, I think it's the consistency with aim and overall the new experience of playing with a control pad that's making me have more fun in games. I think I'll stick with this pad for a while. So thanks for watching, and I hope you don't run into any issues with your order. Like the video, subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm planning a video comparison on the Logic G Pro Superlight and the Starlight 12 from Final Mouse as a follow video to this one. I enjoy testing out new gaming gear, so if there's something that you'd like me to test, leave it as a comment, and I'll check it out. Thanks again, and see you in the next video. Bye! You are so good. Oh my god. Holy shit.